Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 29th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had a nice little relief rally with a gap up, but unfortunately, it wasn't able to really follow through or break any major resistance levels in the chart. We had a relatively light choppy day after the gap up with the uncertainties that we still have ahead of the GDP number coming Wednesday. But today we have more data coming our way that could provide either bullish or bearish information. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well clearly we still have some resistance here in the diamonds chart. As you can see we have rallied up here to test that resistance in the chart. Can't quite break through it just yet. We're trying to push a little bit more this morning trying to bump up through there. There are some earnings that may provide some inspiration to help either push through or fail at that resistance area of the chart. But let's keep an eye on that pretty closely this morning as all this data rolls out. Now, if the bulls were to continue to find inspiration and could break this level right here in the chart, well, the next place we wanna be looking at, let's go over here to our moving averages. We're gonna look right in here around that 50 day moving average to see if we can break through that area here in the chart. Notice that short term moving averages are coming down, creating that technical resistance level in the chart. However, if they can break through that area, then I think the next place that we would probably test is right up here around um, these big candles. Notice we had this big up candle and the big down candle right in the same zone. So right above that area would probably be the next level of price resistance if we can pop through that 50-day moving average. Keep in mind that the diamonds is the only index that has recovered its um, uh, trend here to the upside. So it has probably the, um, the best chances, I should say, in maybe pushing through to that upside move and testing higher resistance levels, breaking through that 50. If we look at the SPY, however, SPY, a little bit more of a challenge here. We're still underneath our trend in the SPY, but you'll notice we've got a, a pretty substantial resistance up here with that big candle in the way. And if we look a little deeper here, that's right where that 50 day moving average is. Notice our short term moving averages are, have crossed down, creating this zone of resistance right in here, suggesting we're going to need some sub substantial inspiration maybe to push on through that level here in the chart. But if we do, if we can break through here, I think the next level above is going to be right up in here to see whether or not we can push through that area of the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration, then of course just a retest back down here would look like the likely um, plan. And I forgot to mention that on the diamonds, but I would suggest that the next pullback, might we might pull back into that little area of price support in there maybe test the trend if the bears were to be inspired if we take a look at our qqq very similar situation here the qqq trying to stretch up the good news on these um, on the spy and the qqq is that we did make higher lows so we're trying to hold in here but if you look in this chart my goodness there are multi-levels of price resistance in the chart. We've got the downtrend here. We've got our uptrend break that will provide some resistance in this area. We've got price resistance in here. So, and it all kind of comes together right in this area of price resistance. And as we push back up, we'll see if we were able to break through there. Now you'll also want to keep in mind that if we look in that chart right up near the top of that big black candle, 
is where we have our 50-day moving average with our short-term moving averages having already crossed down through. So we have a pretty strong zone of price resistance right in here. We're going to need some kind of nice bullish inspiration to push us through there. And perhaps we get it in some of the data. So watch that closely. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, then I would suggest push back down here to retest this recent low in the chart might be the likely place that we would go so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at our iwm iwm bouncing up out of this consolidation yesterday but struggled to maintain that pulling back so if you look at iwm here again we've got multiple levels of resistance in the chart we're struggling with this area here and if we can push through with the bulls then we'll look for this bigger resistance area up here in the chart and if we take a quick look right here that's going to be up there around that 50-day moving average and notice our short-term moving average coming down and creating that technical zone of ins uh, of resistance there as well the good news is this is a good hold of the 200 day moving average but we're going to need some kind of inspiration to push us up there and then keeping in mind that we might just be rallying back to the next lower high in the chart so take an example of rally back up into here that sets the downtrend here in the iwm and we would build ourselves a head and shoulders pattern in that chart so watch carefully for that possibility then let's take a look at our VIX our VIX did rest and pull back here enough that we broke this upside trend that's good news for the bulls if we can continue to see that pull back in here watch that closely remember we broke this downtrend in here made the higher low that brought those bears out and you know the interesting thing is really nothing has changed um, in in the markets uh, certainly China is still stressed we still got a lot of problems over in Europe we're, st we're still uncertain about what the Fed is going to be doing on rates um, if we uh, continue to relieve that pressure let's look for a price support test down in here uh, today to see if we can hold that area and then bounce off if the bears were to engage if the bulls find lots of inspiration well maybe we break this on back down here in the chart and really um, give us that suggestion that there is no fear of the market out there then let's take a look at our t2122 t2122 had a nice relief yesterday bouncing up boy we struggled coming up out of this basement but we had a nice move yesterday on that gap up move but essentially we didn't get much follow through after that gap up so what that does is it tells us the way this is set up is if those bulls find inspiration we have about an equal weight for um, an upside move if the bulls find the inspiration or and about the same um, size move for a potential to the downside if the bears were to find inspiration today so keep a close eye on that as all these data points roll out and we have that uncertainty of the GDP number coming on Wednesday morning. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, it, with that big popping move in the market, we did uh, improve here on T2108, but boy, not it's not so much as to make me feel like, wow, the bulls were really excited about diving into the market. As you can see, we're pressing up here into a price resistance zone on T2108. 33, 32, 33% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Kind of tough to build a really big bullish case on that, but it does show us kind of that oversold condition still if we can find additional um, inspiration to push on higher. If we look at our T2107, T2107, whoops, the right one here. T2107 did a better job pushing up. Notice we broke through these levels right in here, popped up through there a little bit more, and we're holding on some support areas here in the chart. About 46% of the stocks above their 200-day moving average, so hanging in there pretty well overall. You will want to keep in mind that we're going to be coming into a zone of price resistance up here as well. 
as we approach that 50% on this rally back. So kind of keep that in mind. One of the things that really did concern me, however, is that our breadth continued to pull back yesterday. We really didn't get um, a strong, enthusiastic move to the upside after that gap. Volume was light and choppy. And as you can see, our breadth is falling. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see that breadth continue to decline on the relief rally because that will that will run us into a big struggle around those resistance levels and could even um, embolden the, the bears to uh, provide another tack around those resistance levels. So watch that closely if we do continue to weaken. If we start to see that bullish move in the market, build some momentum and pick this back up, that would be the most helpful case here in the market. See that breadth coming in to the bullish side. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here. Now our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be thinking about here today. Um, we're gonna have Case Shiller numbers coming out here this morning. According to consensus, um, in here, they're expecting this to show just a modest um, improvement here on the Case Shiller Home Price Index. So watch that carefully. Uh, we're going to get consumer confidence coming out. Unfortunately, consensus is suggesting that's going to slip just a little bit. The confidence has declined. Watch that one closely. I think this one might have that possibility to slip even more. It might be a miss on the downside here because I think the consumers are starting to feel an awful lot of pressure here um, trying to keep up with the high prices of those basic necessities that they need. If you um, also notice, then we're going to have the job openings report at 10 a.m. as well and they are expecting that to have an ever so slight decline here in job openings and that's what the fed needs to see we want to see that jobs market weakening up here a bit to um, bring some more balance back into that wage price spiral situation that we're starting to see keeping inflation high and then later on today we're going to have a bar we'll be speaking of course some bond auctions and that created a little bit of problems yesterday when um, during the, the two-year bond auction, we pushed um, those prices above 5% for the first time in many, many years. And um, we saw those bond yields continuing to hold up. This morning, uh, the two-year bond has slipped back to 5%. But interestingly enough, the six-month bond is rising to 5.58%. So we still have that short end of the curve creating some pressure here in the market. Now, as we look forward, you'll want to kind of keep in mind there, don't be too surprised after all of the all of the data comes out this morning and the gyrations um, and reactions that we'll have to that, you'll want to keep in mind that everyone's going to be kind of thinking about that GDP number and international trading goods tomorrow. Those are big market moving numbers. So don't be surprised if we end up with more light choppy price action as we wait for that big uncertainty of the GDP number. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today and our earnings calendar is much busier today. I'm going to run through these really quickly here this morning. Um, AMBA will be reporting today. AMWD will be um, reporting today. We've heard from Best Buy and Best Buy popping up on better than expected earnings, but maybe some downside guidance here, uh, creating a little bit of a problem, a little bit of pop and drop in the pre-market going on on Best Buy. We got uh, Big Lock reporting today, and that's getting a nice pop here this morning. We're gonna hear from a Box today. Um, keep an eye on that one. CTLT will be reporting. We've got uh, DCI reporting today. We're going to hear from HPE and HPQ later on today. Um, we've got a defensive sector stock, Schmuckers, SJM, pushing to the upside. We've been seeing a lot of the defensive sector stocks really, really weak, but we're pushing up into this downtrend and a nice pop this morning. Uh, keep an eye on that. Um, MBUU will be on the list today, and I.O. 
is one I know a lot of folks who are paying attention to. That'll be reporting today. Looks like we got a little bearishness coming in here first thing this morning. Uh, PDD, nice pop here this morning on PDD on its earnings report. Um, another retailer uh, showing some bullishness here this morning. I haven't seen that for a while. Uh, PVH will be reporting and ZTO is on that list for today. How about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And if, if you feel the video is worthy, make sure you share it out on your social media feed. That helps a bunch. Remember on comments, you can leave any kind of a comment and ask a question. I'd be happy to answer your questions. And also remember that even an emoji counts as reaction to the video and helps that engagement. So the algorithm of YouTube shares the videos with more people out there. Let's take a look at um, um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful on how you um, move forward in this market. There's so much uncertainty in here. Um, just make sure you're following your trading rules, your trading guidance, um, your risk tolerances. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at a few stocks that um, has, have some interesting price patterns in here. LMT, you can see down in here in LMT, it's still moving in this downtrend. We've rallied up above this resistance level in the chart. What makes this interesting is that we're stuck between um, this trading range here in the chart. We can't seem to break down through this support. And we're struggling uh, to move higher. But right here, if you'll notice, we've got this little higher low trying to develop in here. If that can pop through there, that might be of interest. Keep an eye on LMT. Um, I was looking at US Steel yesterday, and even with our dollar, uh, continuing to move higher and showing lots and lots of strength. We're seeing um, U.S. Steel hold in here pretty well. U.S. Steel popped when um, they rejected the deal from Cleveland Cliffs. If you'll watch right in here, we're pushing back into some price support here into that chart that goes way back over here. If we can hold that price support in here, maybe rest a little bit, there may be some more upside here in U.S. Steel. Keep a close eye on that. Other commodities, as you know, I've been keeping a real close eye and talking about CCJ here uh, quite a bit. Uh, CCJ popped an alert that I had right in here and I had an original alert back over in here on CCJ. Continuing to move to the upside, looking very bullish. I think any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there in CCJ. Take a look at um, um, Charter. Uh, Charter had a huge pop yesterday. Um, nice little resting pullback that occurred in here. We found a little price support, big pop yesterday. Keep an eye on that. If that can hold up here, this may well have more upside opportunity in it. Keep a close eye on that. Now, Google, for a big tech, has been struggling in this um, price range in here. We've been stuck between uh, the lows, stuck between the highs, haven't been able to get anything going. But what's important, I think, on this chart is if I were to draw a trend up through here um, using this area here as a bit of an outlier in that period, we're moving closer and closer into this trend. So I would watch for that next opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on Google. And speaking of big techs, NVIDIA has a nice little pattern here as well. Breaking through this resistance up here, resting back, maybe finding support and trend and that opportunity that we may soon start to move on through to the upside. Keep an eye on NVIDIA if you um, have the price tolerance for something like uh, um, NVIDIA and as strong as that is. Uh, take a look at um, some of the oil sector stocks. 
um, if we're looking at APA, APA, pretty decent looking chart. It has pulled back here just recently, trying to find some support levels in the chart, but looking overall pretty good. If you take a look at Schlumberger on the refining side, had a really good day yesterday, bouncing back up above some price resistance. If it can hold up here now, that'll be the key. We break the downtrend, hold a higher low, then I'm looking for uh, the follow through to the upside here on that. And if we look at um, oil futures this morning, oil is trying to hold in here today and go just a little bit higher. So if we can see um, that kind of hold, watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at a couple other stocks in here. Um, FedEx has been holding in here really nice, had a little bit of a shooting star pattern in there yesterday. This may be beginning a bit of a downtrend um, here in the chart, breaking through resistance in the chart or breaking through support, rallying back and showing that possible failure. If this continues on down, I would look for a possible short here in FedEx and that would push us uh, maybe below that 50 day moving average. So watch that closely if that were to occur. That's going to be kind of critical because we need to see our um, consumers out there spending pretty hard to support this market as high as we have pushed us up here. Um, and we're starting to see a little bit of concern on that side. Speaking of a little bit of concern, take a look at some of our airlines, our travel stocks that were so hot. Boy, they are pulling back pretty hard and we have a pretty good short pattern potentially setting up here in Delta Airlines. You can see the same on UAL, UAL struggling in here at this downtrend, resting over to trend and that possible failure that could occur in here. And there's a lot of, lot of stocks in that sector showing some, um, just some uncomfortable looks to those patterns. Um, on the retail side of things, we do have a couple of things holding up pretty well. Take a look at Walmart. It's continuing to hold in there pretty strongly. Struggled up here with this top, but holding in there well might be worth keeping an eye on. While at the same time, we're seeing stocks like Kohl's, boy, looking pretty ugly. Had a big pop back up yesterday, but overall, this stock is looking at that downtrend and likely going to see some more downside moves there. So be kind of careful, there's a mix. I think what we're entering is a stock pickers market. One of the reasons I'm showing you these of same industry, um, different results in the trading. So it's really going to come down to the trader, really defining what you're looking for in the market. And there may be some uh, trading on both sides of this market to be paying attention to. You also want to be keeping an eye on the financials here. I just don't think our financials are going to come out of this um, with um, China, European markets struggling in that financial sector. Rates likely going to stay higher. Uh, bond yields are causing them major problems. And if you'll look right in here on XLF with this rally back up, right in here to our 50 day moving average and downtrend. I'd be watching for that next opportunity short here in XLF if we do get a failure in here. The only way this can be bullish at this point is crossover up, hold the higher low, and then um, I'll change my opinion on XLF. But for now, things aren't looking good for the major banks. And if you look at stocks like Citibank, oh my goodness, this thing is awful. Um, this rally back up could set up more shorting. Uh, JP Morgan is one of the betters in here, but it is still below its 50 day moving average. And you can see this rally back up in here um, could easily uh, push us back lower if we find that resistance. And I just really wouldn't be surprised if we start hearing some pretty bad um, data coming out of our financials with the stress that they're under right now. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I do truly appreciate it. I wish you all the very best, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.